good day. Hope everybody out there is having a good one. You know, something I've been um, saying a lot and preaching from the choir. Well, no, I, I'm not preaching from any choir. They don't want me in, in a choir. What I've been trying to say is one thing that band should be doing more of is one thing that this band the warning has been doing is these behind the scenes or these video diaries after movies as they call them um i i think um if you if you follow like their way of doing it it's uh an extra stream of revenue and it's also for your dedicated fans it's a very cool view into um, how you're seeing, you know, and what's going on in your world. Um, I think, you know, bands really should be u utilizing such a simple thing that uh, can be done nowadays. Um, and also, one thing I learned was um, even though you're subscribed to something and YouTube knows you like it, they'll push um, the warning on, say, MTV, even though you've already watched it five million times i guess they figure you want to watch it more but uh i didn't even uh know these were out even being subscribed and um hitting the bell and all that and if finding new music and all that what you're all about we got music from all over the world we get some awesome playlists and all that so if that's what you're into definitely might want to subscribe comment a band that we need to go check out uh because that's what this is all about is finding new music and sharing it with uh everybody independent mainstream uh you know just mainstream in your country um you know uh i i want to know about them uh, i i've been finding a lot of music that i wouldn't have found any other way hadn't i uh been following your uh awesome comments and suggestions so uh definitely keep those up now uh this is uh something i've been really uh digging and uh, is these uh these uh behind the scenes they call them after movies but they're behind the scenes here is uh the the glasgow now we've done a few of these um songs from when they were there and did an awesome uh show that you might want to check out I believe. So yeah, definitely uh go go check that out. Wow, Pau, se ve que estás como que adentrándote a la nada. Pau, en su hábitat natural, no, hombre. Por eso le dije, eso es chiste, porque no podrías estar más fuera de su elemento, Pau. ¿Qué pasó, Pau? Are you going to eat all that by yourself? That's a story I'll tell you some other time. Esos son los precursores del movimiento punk en Inglaterra. Se llaman The Sex Pistols. Oh, I thought that was Peter Gilles. Nice. A mí me gusta más Genesis con Phil Collins. ¿Quién soy? ¿Quién soy? Mira, nada más. Ah, hola, hola. ¿Qué es Arturo? Qué suerte. Igualitos, aparte. ¿eh? Me gustan más los que tienes en la mano. A mí también, a mí pero más hay que ponerle cinta rosa. Ajá, hay que ponerle cinta rosa. Sí. Sintura de forro ahí, ¿no? Sintura de forro ahí. Justo cuando dijo. Ahorita es natural. Qué bonito. Ay, aterrizó bien bonito. A ver, muy bonitos aquí, pero luego están matando a pajaritos, ¿eh? No, si es un pájaro. Ay, no. Se lo estaba comiendo a la mañana en el parking lot. No. ¿Quién a quién? Con Porfirio, hermano. Barras y acomodas el bigote. A ver, vamos a ver el bigote. Te hablan. 
Es el estilo birria, no, tipo, no, no, no. es como la birria de Sonora. Oye, ¿cómo llegaste a hablar con ellos y que nos dieran no, cerca uno? Se abres la boca, abrí la puerta, <risa> emite sonidos no, es que, <risa> coherentes. O sea, estaba cerrado esto y decía... Los sientes were closed y me dio mucha curiosidad, entonces abrí y dije, hey, I know you're closed, but otro humano. quiero saber si el de aquí <laughs> es tipo paisa el que está haciendo esta comida. Y ya salió ella y dice, no es paisa, pero creo que el dude es de Arizona. Le dije, I'm from Nogales. <laughs> y dile, y le dijo, hey, some dude says from Nogales. Y luego salió este dude que resulta que es de Arizona. Y ya empezamos yeah. a cotorrear. Yeah, y se armó. Yeah, mira, okay. que os trajo tres leches. Oh, oh my God. justo se estacionó los camiones del crew de Peter Gabriel pero lo más bonito es que estamos la mayoría aquí para disfrutar una gran noche de música en Escocia para hey, que puedas decir tipo to yourself sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí. estaba esperando que se le cayera el de arriba <risa> Lo disfruté mucho, tocan muy bien. Muy bonito, lloré dos canciones. Súper cool, increíble. Bonito. De las peleas. La posible pelea. Eh, la pelea de las... No, he confiado. Ya cuando te agarré el valor para subirme y confrontar a los escoceses, ya tenía varios planes dependiendo de las reacciones. Uno era. Uno era. Si tiraba un golpe, yo me iba a mover, a agarrar su brazo. Now, was this when they, weren't they doing the news thing at this time? I believe. Tirarlo, porque había mucha inclinación y tirarlo, la única preocupación es que creo que que caga arriba de Dani. Entonces tenía que ser una fuerza bárbara con impulso lomo. Y les hizo manita de puerco y se acabó la bronca. And if you're noticing a certain accent, it's because we're Mexican. You mess with one frijol, you get a whole burrito. Pero bueno, no llegó a nada de eso. Pidieron perdón. Don medio que medio se fueron un ratito y lo regresaron unos pero pero bueno muchas gracias al equipo de Muse por traernos yes yep to your shows here in Europe we're from Mexico it's gonna be surreal for them anyway There she is with her girl. In the, in the future, that'll be like a style. Leave a cool lady. Sí, así, así. 
Pero yo más. No, luego me lastimo. Pero es chistoso mío. Es chistoso mío, no chistoso de ustedes. Oh. Ah. <laughs> 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 I saw that one. That's funny. Huh? Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's way cool that they do these. Um, oh, oh, we got. ¿Qué tal los taquitos? Están muy buenos. Está bueno. Están buenos. Soy feliz con tacos. 10 de 10. No, no pica, pero ni una de las dos pica. Pero yo soy de las dos. Rafas en Glasgow, recomendado. ¿De dónde? Así cuando nos mandaron el contacto. Salsita. Ah, no. Estaba tratando de separar el mío. Muy bien, bro. Este chile, ¿quién es? Way cool. When... Yeah, when you're starving, you can make a talk about almost anything. Um, <laughs> the girl that gets me every time. I, I, uh, I know I've said this uh, a, a zillion times, but yeah, more bands should be doing this. And if you would like to be the first to see these when they are released, um, We'll have the links and everything uh, set up below um, how you can get to their website and Patreon and all that uh, stuff. I think it's a, a very uh, smart uh, way to keep, um, you know, everybody knowing, you know, what you're up to, what you're doing and how things are going. But yeah, how things are going <laughs> behind the scenes and a look into uh what you're uh what you're doing you know i i think bands underestimate the the amount that you know fans want to see and would like to just see what your day-to-day -day, um is um it's uh it's it's a neat way to to kind of uh see the world vicariously through um you know their eyes and um i think it's very cool that they're doing it i think it's a wicked shame that there isn't you know and it it seems weird you know and if there is other bands that people could point me to that are doing things like these please like let me know um because this is um it's so simple it's so smart and it's such a cool way to you know not not only the, the the revenue side of it uh which is genius but the what they get out of it you know uh, uh, what people like to see you know it's like the stuff that you take for granted as being mundane you know it's because you've gotten complacent about your reality so your perspective on what you see as mundane is not so mundane to your fans or, you know, your your job is, is a bit different than, you know, we'll say the average person's. So um yeah, I, I think it's I think it's a shame that um more bands aren't doing this. It's such a simple thing to do. Um and you know, it it costs 
uh, pennies for them, uh, for some of these big bands to have somebody stitch together videos and such of, you know, the goings on, you know, or may maybe it's just that a lot of the bands aren't as cool as the warning uh, behind the scenes. Um, maybe it's that. Maybe. So at any rate, I, I, uh, I encourage you to go check out all the stuff that they got going on. If you haven't seen the performance that they did at MTV, this is the performance that let MTV know that, yeah, people want to see, first of all, music on your channel. Second of all, they, they want more of this. They want more awesome rock and roll. And there is an, a lot of awesome rock and roll bands up there. We got playlists set up here on the channel of bands to, to check out. Uh, a lot of awesome bands that we checked out. A lot of cool music from all over the musical spectrums and from all over the world. Um, I get uh, tons and tons of um, submissions for the radio and all that with a lot of that comes uh videos and stuff that you guys wouldn't believe aren't signed or at least aren't signed by you know bigger labels and it kind of says a little bit about how the tides are turning and i think even this right here says a little bit about how you know this is all self-made stuff they didn't depend on a big group of filmographers and all this stuff and spent thousands of dollars to do this. They, they collected clips and everything, um, you know, from what they're doing and, and put them all together in a, you know, timeline that everybody could, <laughs> you know, understand. It's, <laughs> it's, it's good stuff. Like I said, I, I, I don't see why more bands aren't doing these things. And if they are, if there's other bands out there that are, please, I want to see them because I love seeing them, stuff like this. And definitely, like I said, um, you know, these ladies are part of the next generation um, of rock and roll that, you know, uh, our, our grandkids are going to look back and, you know, look at and go, wow, look how, rev you know, all the, just cool sounds they got going on. I have not heard a warning song yet that I was like, meh, not one, not one. <laughs> yeah, not, you know, I mean, they, it's like they just keep putting out awesome music and that's, that's awesome. And it's awesome that they're doing this. Go check these ladies out. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button. You want to uh, check out more music from all over the places. We got some uh, more cool music coming out of uh, Indonesia. I want to um, show everybody uh, a lot of cool bands coming out of Indonesia. You would not believe. Uh, we got Elite Bata, Voice of Bachi Pra, which are two uh, uh, playlists that we got set up. We'll give you a crash course on them as well. So definitely um, go check all that stuff out. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. and. Let us know about some bands that we need to be uh, checking out and uh, looking more into. And in the meantime, I hope you're having a great day. I hope it's going as good as it possibly can be. We got tons more uh, likes, reacts, reviews, news, all sorts of just awesome stuff, discussions about awesome bands like this band right here. A warning. Go check these ladies out. I will see you in the next one. Have a great day, everybody.